Ooh, he just pulled her off. You can't control my knife anymore! Kapwing! Uh, awesome music. This is like the only time it shows up, too. No, it also shows up in the later cutscene in this second chapter when they meet up with. Oh, okay, okay. The, the gun person. Well, yeah, I don't want to. It, it just all you got to tell me is that it shows up later. Out of my way, red shirts. But they're not wearing red. And... Like I said, get used to this music. <laughs> um, yeah. If they're not strong, why do they get attacked and hurt? I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna argue. They, these guys were... No. Charge you can get the crap beat out of him. That's fine. Money. Uh huh. Sure. Oh, car saw right through that. Uh, inconsistencies. The translation and spelling. Grammar isn't entirely spot on, but do parent hey, do parent parent things like mother and need to be capitalized and depends on the context. Hey, at least the translation's better than you know some of the stuff that showed up in Final Fantasy VII. Like what? This guy, our sick. <sighs> oh yeah. Seriously. They must have thought it, that, it was, that it sounded wrong when they translated it and put it down. Either that or it just, you know, slipped past. Because you... Don't cause, leave me here. I need a hug. Because really, they must at least, after they translate, double check to make sure it sounds right. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh I need a hug even more. Ooh, he's mad. Hmm, but how? Obviously, they're not going to let us walk out the front gate. Or are they? Hmm. Yes, let's run back here. Hi, Mom. Bye, Mom. <laughs> going to, you know, walk into your room for no reason. Doop, 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 doop. the right thing, I think. Uh-oh. Uh, it, no, oh, no. Oh. I'm not making good. See. See what? Nervous? Tired? Angry? <laughs> Sad? Tired? Like she wanted to give you pudding? <laughs> Color. I'm guessing she just out and out went pure white. Meep. Is that from the series? And they sounded like. Drake here. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, Wait, we still have no idea what a Drakir is. The main character in the next chapter. Dude, spoilers. Not really. I didn't say a name. Nah. Of course not. Then she just, you know, give me even more reasons to stay home. Now less shiny. And now we get the angry confrontation. This is optional. 
Yes, she doesn't want Karg to turn into Darth Vader. Hey, look, there, he's playing the blame game. Well, um, spoilers. Let's just say she's got a very deep secret. That's all we're going to say. And from now on, whenever something plot relevant comes up, well, we'll just say, spoilers, and leave it at that. Ooh. Hey, okay, something knocking on the door. Who's there? But if Karg were actually listening to the music, he could tell who it is. Well, yes. Zip? Zip? Who's Zip? Oh, yeah. We're gonna go kill all those squirrels. In anything. You're outside the wall. Ugh. <laughs> and Karg just starts monologuing to himself. You know what would really, what, what would really be funny? What? That if I were Karg. I would use my mind blasting powers and lock on the gate. Since uh, he can, since he can lock, just open his door using his mind. Yes, well, uh, gates don't count. This one's way too big. And here we have our blue, first blue text. Gate key! Oh, oh, I was mistaken earlier. It's blue that represents important items, not yellow. Well, so green is the I don't see how it matters. Blue's items, green is locations, orange is lanes of people, and okay, yellow gate key, is... Okay, gate key. Where would somebody hide the gate key? A gang leader? Perhaps gang leader. Yeah. Sure. Cool, I'm the best. Oh, that's right. Lloyd left. Duncan, this guy is... Yeah. Just the guy sitting at the desk. No real importance. Wild monkey monster. Side quest! Not really. Green face. Hmm. Been hanging around with Frankenstein too much, I guess. What? He'd be in deep, uh, deep trouble. Yeah, trouble. Let's go with that. Hmm. Intimidate check. Success! <laughs> yes, I am a huge nerd. Uh-oh. He, the last word is just something he shouldn't have said. Just keep pressing the button. Two? Uh, no, nothing, nothing. <laughs> Love check, success! <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? You're talking to a not stupid card. Now, 
Walk to the ruins. Go sneak out. Sheesh, it used to be you could just do this with a, you know, ladder made out of bed sheets. Three, two, one. It's funny, I didn't see a keyhole anywhere. Eh, it's invisible, like the key. So then how do they go if they can lost it? Really, there's only one, but, yeah. Yeah, which means they should have said there is a pub here. Yep. Next time we see him, we're going to have to drag him out of the ditch and sober him up. More green. Well, I admit that I have to understand where he's coming from. Yeah. Castle ruins? He wants to protect people and his mother won't let him. Yep. She's not mean. Well, she has her reasons. And, and those and reasons are a secret. Chaos the ruins. Chaos forest. Oh, and the plot gets in the way. Give it an hour. Just want to make sure that we're not in the battle when we... Stupid plot getting me lost. Hey, what was that? Hey, see, Karg is actually savvy enough to realize that stuff in the forest could actually be harmful. He just throws the arc completely straight. Ow, ow, ow! Damn it! Bad! Ahem! Ahem! You little punk! I guess you want to die young, huh? And this character is voiced by Danny Cooksey. I forgot what else he does. I only have much better at remembering this kind of thing. And he dances. Underling. Busted. Seems to be his favorite insult. Car could scare him more than he could. Must not make the joke. And say hello to one of the creepiest things in this game. Wild Slothian. They're monsters, we kill them. What else? Okay. Seriously, that thing is. Ah. Power of teamwork! His teamwork is great! <clears throat> and he takes it 
takes off the mask. Woo! <coughs> apparently Marumi's boy in Japanese. Um, not really. Tell me a long time ago. Uh, that was a... I mislearned it. <coughs> so let's go over a it short review of... It usually, uh, means round, actually. So let's Which go makes sense, considering his face. Yep. So <laughs> let's go give Maru a short review. Okay, lower... definitely lower hit points. Starts at level 2. Don't worry, that gets fixed really fast. Um, really good avoid already. Um... Pretty decent attack. This kid is our ranger. Bad defense. Yeah, he's the <coughs> he's our sniper, is what I meant to say. Go on, let's let's just go. Definitely good speed. Oh yeah, see, like I said, sniper. He's fast, he can uh throw items really far, he's a great support unit. He has uh, high critical and guard. Well, high for ghosts, because yeah. since yeah. they don't level up as you go. I think right. they could have added, made it so those go up as few levels too. Mm. <clears throat> we definitely want to give an aiming device since archers tend to have low accuracy. Yeah, well, that's their most valued stat, really. And upping his attack power. He starts with the crystal beads, which um, improves your mental power <laughs> and cost of some speed. Hmm. Leave him, leave him. We're good. We need that mental power, remember. Maru quickly, depending on how you use him, can quickly become an experienced sponge. And don't worry, we know that... You'll have to forgive him. He's a bit uh, kooky about this kind of thing. Hey! Okay, there we go. And let's get moving. And here are his Oh, uh, yes. Venom arrow and antidote treatment, which is basically Estina, with a different name. And we Except commence. Except it cures all Almost. negative status effects. Mm. <clears throat> oh. The text is a lie. What? Nothing. Touch me and you'll be sorry! <laughs> Go! Now generally the strategy with Maru is to keep I him away from enemies and just rain down attacks. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> this is good advice. Enemies will drop spirit stones for you to pick up, which and it's always a good idea to, you know, recover your supply in battle. Anything uh, extra after you um, maxed your stock back out will go into the party stock, as I recall. <sighs> oh, yes. <laughs> Say hello to the sloth status effect. Hmm, we have three enemies here. Let's take a look at our skill. Ah, uh, yes. What now, the fun thing about area now? skills here is they won't affect your party members. So feel free to throw your melee attackers into the middle of the field and just, you know, here nuke everything. Go. Yeah, we already have a level up. Yep. Like I said, Maru quickly becomes an experienced sponge. Now, Sloth renders you, well, a Sloth. No actions beyond moving and basic attacks. And your, I think any attack bonuses you have from the cut will go down. That all you got? That makes sense. Now, Maru can easily get multiple enemies uh, as long as they're standing in a line. Oh yes, and you can attack certain objects in the environment. They'll drop items or spirit stones. In fact, this becomes a key point inside. Oh, there you go. 
Enemies can't steal your items, but they will attack you if you're just attacking. Well, you know. these enemies can't. They won't take items that are on the ground, is my oh. point. See, Laura just took 20 damage, and Cargo only took 7. Yeah, he's... Poor Maru is it's really edible. fragile. Energy snack. So it's Cliff Bar. I'm coming for you! That's right! Point blank, arrow in the eye. Justice shall prevail! Which is a really good idea later in the game. Got it! Oh, yes, definitely. And a pretty good herb. Justice wins again! So, quick shorthand Stupid for adult. items. Here we have the yellow HP. Yeah. Half or less. Is this edible? So, you know, quick shorthand for stuff right. that's dropped. Purple, spirit stones, white items, and yellow, money. Here we go! Another one. Yeah. See what I mean about him being an experienced sponge? Well, most of it has to do with his high speed. Yep. Baru typically ends up like four or five levels above everybody else, depending on how you use him. His Venom Arrow skill is extremely useful, and he later gets a couple that are even better. The thing about Maru that makes him so good is that he gets a, an area attack skill right off the bat. Yeah. Can't be bothered to live in a town. Uh -huh. Paulette will become an AXP sponge soon, Fire Sling. Mm. Yeah. A prince, huh? Wait, you just told us you were king of Chaos Forest. Shing! Hmm. Yep, that's his defensive accessory. Car's just like, I don't have time for this crap. Why did I even bother? And which country would that be, smart guy? If you can call them shoes. Uh-huh. See? And he dances. He has an angry dance! Well, that's blunt. Hmm. Okay, sure. King who's terrorized by... Wait, why am I complaining? Those things are really freaky. <laughs> Wild Slothians. Their faces will haunt your nightmares. Oh, go kill some Deimos. Oh, yeah, that too. You gotta love this weird music. <laughs> yeah, I think this is Maru's theme, technically. No, this is just generic. This is like... It's not a game. <laughs> then why do we have controllers? <laughs> <clears throat> oh. Ooh. Are you kidding, card? Venom arrow. Seriously. Oh, playing the orphan card. Was the real superpower of teamwork! <laughs> I'm never gonna be able to take myself seriously again after saying that. <laughs> and a 
apparently those are gonna come before but it's not an issue okay uh, so yeah I'm gonna lose down some hit points but and in those two levels is the fact only went up by two yep like wow. I said real fragile he's kind of a glass cannon in some respects he starts being able to take a hit once you get into the later uh, parts of the game, though. He really doesn't need to. He and another character that's in the last chapter are the only ones that start with below one of these. Yep. Still not enough. Darn. Uh, rescue kits. Cheap healing. Edge of a Sea of Trees. Yes, that is the full title. And that's the little fight whoosh thingy we get when uh, we, we get into a random encounter. battle. This is good. You should probably go through this um, just because, you know, experience, SP. You're going to need it. And oh, it's, look. If it's your first time going through it, you'll automatically get pulled in. If, if, if it's not, you'll either get pulled in or you'll just go right by it. Yes, Ooh. a Cuskle. Watch the arrow Cuskle down. Scroll. And yes, it, Go! it looks like Foamy's demonic cousin. And it's even tougher. Well, we just killed all two, two Suskles. Now yeah. we're about to kill this one. Squirrely <laughs> rat. No! <laughs> Take that. Oh, be aware of those. They have a special move Somebody that kicks them off. Oh, yes. You're not the only one with special moves in magic. Obviously, that would make the game way too easy. Woohoo! Watch the arrows rain down! More arrows! Spin them arrows! That's right! How much time do we have left on the tape? About 14 minutes. Hot tub stop! Okay. And another level up! See? <laughs> because he's got that big area attack. Karg and Paulette start to have a hard time keeping up. Karg, Morton, Paulette. I'm coming for you! Because Paulette gets her own AXP oh. sponge skill. Fire Sling! Mm -hmm. Although I Battle wonder... Battle over! The Stinging Ring can count as one, but I can't get as many enemies. You mm. have to be extremely close together because of this small. Because of the... yeah, reduced reach. Mm. Okay, time to go. I'll just have Paulette heal them when she rejoins. Plum Canyon. Advance the plot. Yes. Ooh. Creepy-ish music. Oh. Well, <clears throat> crap. These guys are dead. <laughs> yeah, probably. Stupid slothians. <laughs> what girl? Three, two, well, one. we know who this is, of course. Oh, so that's what a Drakir is. A flying bird? Flying lizard man. She's right. Mm. Uh oh. It was two bodyguards who were not dead or passed out. Yep. That kind of looks like Dice and Warriors stuff right there. It was blowing the two bodyguards. Mm. Not really. And here we see our birthmark. Oh, yeah. Well, that was kind of an unfortunate bit of timing there. What? Uh, nothing. The... the eyes? Yeah. Her expression looks a little odd. <laughs> so we just charge up She looks like she's in a trance. Charge up the spirit stones. Still can't afford any skills. Well, Darn he's you, close. Maru, and your... Your... Your point-sponging ways. Defeat all enemies. 
Just trying to make this as long as possible so we don't end up run, uh, running out of him in the cutscene. Yeah. <laughs> Cut this short. No, let's try and make this long so we can oh. change tapes before the cutscene. Okay, yeah. And we can take a little break in between tapes. Yeah, so we've got a really old camera that we have to use, so sue us. And you can usually tell when there's a destructible item around. If Maybe you don't want to move it over, you can just press burn in R1 or L1. Yep. Cycle through your available targets. And, you know, everything else. They're not targets, of course. Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's go slaughter some truck here. First critical. And that's a critical hit. For car. On the box. Hold it. Yeah, she's in full health. Yeah, you gotta watch yourself. I'll take that. Yay, revival medicine. First time through, you're probably gonna need it here. I would, but we need to make this. I think as long as thirteen. Take it easy, huh? I, I think, think as long as we, we, we just make... uh, pause. Um, we just you know pause our game uh, right before we finish the battle or something. That's a good. That's games. a good quote to make a comment on. Right when Paul said, "Take it easy, huh?" Why would they let me take it easy? Come on, let's let's finish this. Experience sponge? I'm gonna stop repeating myself now. <coughs> Back attack. Yeah. <coughs> Swords are kind of impractically designed. But... Oh, yep, see what I mean here? By actually aiming, we managed to get those two guys together. And Prepare once again. Yeah. yeah! Felt good, huh? And again! Well, yes, but it's easier with Maru. <clears throat> Stupid dolt! Ah! All right, take it, man. Okay, <coughs> more spirits. Take this. Some lines in combat that Karn has, and you can really tell that Prince of Queen is just really having fun with it. We should show them what they can do to us if we don't. Well, I'm not sure if it'll sh um, show it, but if you aren't careful, they can get you with uh, the Wind Slasher spell, which is your basic wind element attack. And here we'll show the first of this. Oh yes. Yay, healing. That's what I'm talking about! Yeah. That's something like about a third of your max hit points. Just finish them off. I just wanted to see it. Here I come! You might as well. They'll they'll get it. I've been waiting! Okay, seriously, he's just gonna keep attacking. Just shall prevail! Hold on. Here I come! 
I think green lasts for about two turns, and then the others last for about three, because it always seems like the green is going away sooner. <laughs> ah, finally. So, you want to be aware of this, guys. And now, Carter's going to finish him off. Or not, because we really need to be concerned about healing right before a battle is over. Alright, well, let's first. finish it off with the card for an overkill. Oh. We just... Hey, guys, guys, what time it is? You okay? I'm trying my best. <laughs> Wabam. Hmm. Huh. Not that much for Paulette's, darn. Wow, Carson on the EXP punch, and even he got more. Yeah, Paulette didn't get much use in this one. Alright. I'm thinking we should pause here and switch tapes. Yeah. And we're back. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. After doing a little bit of research, I have discovered that Maru, voiced by Danny was voiced by Danny Cooksey, as I mentioned. Probably, it's a long story. Kind of how he got here. Yeah. Now, as I was saying, Granny Cooksey's most famous role probably would be Montana Max of Tiny Toons. And apparently Lloyd's mad. Now, let's see. Ah, yes. Paulette is voiced by Jill Talley, whom uh, most people would probably recognize as Plankton from Spongebob. She's also on the Boondocks as Sarah Dubois. I probably mispronounced that. It's hard because the main hero, and yet it's their duty to protect him. It should be the other way around. Yeah. Anyway, ah, yes. Interesting fact about Miss Tally is that she is married to Tom Kenny, aka the voice of SpongeBob SquarePants, among many others, and one of my favorite voice actors. What was the point? Yeah, if he's not allowed to use it. <sighs> Quit being selfish! Alright. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Gragny? Gragny? Gragny Hills. Oh yeah, that'll work. Trying to stay out of danger. You're telling that for JRPG. Oh hero. yeah, when I, when I first my this this game my dad got me in 2004, and when I first got it, for the longest time I could not tell how to pronounce Karg's name. I would say things like Kaharg or Karg. I could never get it. Yeah, it's just Karg. Wait, even though you heard it in cutscene? Yeah. I swear, I know the strangest people. Okay. Uh, that's not a bad way of putting it, I guess. Uh, hmm. Now, occasionally, we're going to have to trade off, you know, controller control. Sorry about that. Um, because of various things, like, you know, eating or taking care of the dog. Uh, 
back. Uh, not going back yet. Gonna just investigate a little. Uh, look at this. Big, huge battery. Very conspicuous. Totally not gonna be plot important later. Uh, just guys to talk to. When you're playing through, you can mess around all your all you like, but I'm hitting now. I think that's what we gotta do next, but I... Face him! Alright. Hmm. Maru has joined the party! I suppose that's one definition of friendship. Or one, uh... I suppose that's one way to codify friendship. Alright, off for a hoe. Wait, hopefully nobody's... Oh. 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 Not back. Uh, we talked to this guy, right? Uh, I don't know. Random guy. Huh. Is the world ending? Hmm. Hooray! Right. We arrived in time. Here's one of the errors. That should be there are. That's dude, it's nitpicking. It doesn't matter. Just, I know, we're going to point stone. out errors, though. Why? Who really cares about that? Like the one with the great spare stones? Or the... Okay, the really w big ones are the ones we can make fun of. But little things... Nit nitpicking isn't funny. Nitpicking is always funny. No, no, it's not. Especially when you're a grammar freak. Or a Nazi. Whatever is worse. Nazi. Grammar Nazi. That's the word you're looking for. I said Nazi. It's N -I -N -A -Z -Y. Oh! Plot! Plot! Oh god, not this music again! Sheesh. I'm barely even two hours in. I'm already getting sick of this. Cunning and cruel. Well, won't dispute that with the here. No, not Deimos. Furries! Feel and Maru's just worse. Maru's just completely lost. Yeah. Hmm. That's obvious. Ooh, big guy. Now, look at that. Big wolf, blue fur. He's got a freaking axe blade as a sword. I, I, I don't even know what that is, really. And he's got a he's wearing a skull on his arm. Tell me that is not badass. A guy, a guy on Game Pass called it a harvester's axe. Okay, fine, whatever, go! Oh, okay, now see, that just crosses the line right there. They have families too, you know. Yeah, that crosses the line. I wonder how he stayed alive in these events. <laughs> because... Well, you'll understand this later, but... I mean, seriously, look at him. How is that not tough enough to survive, you know? Well, they're all, all three of them are weak stands. Yeah, they're all pretty beaten up. And he's not! Gah! I'm sick of this crap! Kapwing! <laughs> the only thing he was missing was a smoke bomb. Yes, because, you know, tiny little wolf boy looks brutal. <laughs> and 
and thus begins well, whatever it is between Maru and Paulette. And how'd they get weak? Uh, probably running too much. <laughs> Okay, we have an ellipsis. Lloyd! Ooh, ellipses are never good. Ooh! Father! That card feels like an idiot now! No! No! Father! Father! Father, please! That was a bit over dramatic. Uh, not really. I think it was or, pretty well. I guess maybe bad acting. No, no. Don't, don't you dare. Jill Talley is. No, she's good. Cornelia, I'll never forgive them. I will never forgive them. I wonder if there are any voice actors who have new voices for the opposite gender. <laughs> um. Oh, I don't think so. I think they. I'm sorry. I don't I'm think they so did any cross-dressing voices. I'm sure all the voice actors here are what they, they the gender they are. Yeah. Let's go. Hey, here we have Kit Card. I'm a legendary hero, and I will vanquish the Dark Minion. Okay, so I'm the Dark Minion now. Hey! Ha ha! Well, at least he has Magic some nice of nice of him. Since he like didn't that. hurt him, he just left them away. The Deimos. Damn them. There'll be no more victims. Something to keep in mind when you're listening to these lines to the end. is that voice actors, especially for video games, they don't always get context for the lines they are given. They have to go based on what they have, which sometimes is nothing. Okay. Moving on. Now we save. Yeah, you can tell. We played this a lot. In case you're wondering who all these people are, don't worry. It'll all become clear at some point. Actually, this is well, sort of my first file. No, don't. Just, just keep. You know, yeah, we'll just. My just mom. erase one of the old ones that we don't uh, need. Uh. Like, well, I can just save over the one we had. Yeah. Which was, which? We weren't at the Flying Castle. Uh, is they, it, is we that, just gotten, uh, yeah, I think that was it. And now, break time. Yeah, sorry guys, voice is wearing out. 